Yosemite's Geologic History The first step in the creation of this magnificent valley was with the formation of its granite. You are looking at El Capitan, the largest piece of unbroken granite in the world. This, along with the rest of the granite in Yosemite, was formed hundreds of thousands of years ago at an estimated depth of five miles underneath the Earth's surface. Granite is formed as a slow cooling of magma underneath the Earth's surface. Through time, the upper layers are eroded away, eventually to expose the granite. When this granite is exposed, there's a lot of built-up internal pressure that needs to be released. This pressure is released in the forms of cracks that we call faults. The next step was the uplift of the Sierra Nevadas. So the Sierra Nevada mountain range uplifted in a very unique way. Most mountain ranges will lift from the center, like this. However, the Sierras lifted on a hinge. So it lifted like this, where the eastern side that we can see behind us is extremely steep, but the western slope is a lot more gradual. Not only did this unique uplift create the steep eastern Sierra slope, but it caused all the rivers that run east to west, like the Merced River and Tanaya Creek, to run even faster than before. These fast-moving waters carve deep V-shaped canyons into the granite, sweeping away loose rock and sediment into the central valley. During a series of ice ages, Yosemite filled up with glaciers. Glaciers are a slow accumulation of snow that compacts into ice. In Yosemite, all but the top 200 feet of Half Dome was covered by ice. Eventually this ice had to leave. As the glaciers were leaving the valley, it swept off more loose rock and sediment from the sides of the V-shaped canyon. This rock was swept away based on the fault systems that had formed when the granite was exposed. This hill behind me is called the moraine. This moraine was left from the glaciers as they were receding. It's composed of all the loose rock and sediment and was piled up. It was bulldozed into this hill. On the other side of this moraine used to be a lake called Ancient Lake Yosemite. That lake filled the valley floor, but through time, sediment continued to build up in that area. And eventually, the lake filled up with sediment and the river was able to cut its way through the moraine. That's what causes our flat valley floor. We now know how the U-shaped valley was formed, but how did our domes form? Remember those fault systems that had formed when the granite was exposed? The faults that had formed at our domes were almost parallel to the surface of the earth. Through time, pressure relief exfoliation happens, where layers of the rock exfoliate away. Those layers of exfoliation create the domes that we see today. When you look at Half Dome, you can tell it was formed with a combination of pressure relief exfoliation along with glaciation. The steep granite walls, flat valley floor, and stunning domes all make up the beauty of Yosemite Valley. Now that you know the geologic story of Yosemite, go out and experience its beauty for yourself. It's time to go out into nature and see what it has to offer you physically, mentally, and spiritually. Hear the humming. This cool world is giving you a better sound wrong.